Hey guys, it's me, Ice Game Boy here, and today I'm I'm back with another video. But this time I'm doing like a review video, and today me me and my friend here is going to review Toy Story 2, the classic Pixar film. Are you ready to, to do you know the the review? Yes. All right. Um. So everyone in. Everyone obviously has seen like um, Toy Story 2 before, or at least like watched it, and yeah, people consider consider this movie a classic. Like, is is that? Is uh, honestly, if I got to say anything, this movie is not only a classic, but one of the funniest, most seat uh, like have you standing up out of your seat kind of movie because there's so many like moments uh that are just eye-catching moments that you think something's going to happen and then like <laughs> whole another thing happens that's why this movie is amazing entertaining i yeah i mean like this 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 movie this movie is like the third pixar movie and and it's like most people's favorite it's funny it's very Funny and, and and like almost as perfect as the original. It gi it gives us more of a background of um of the characters, uh, such as like seeing about Woody and that there used to be a TV series. Sorry for if anybody hasn't seen the movie, which some I'm confused on how if you've never seen this movie, <laughs> but um. How Woody had like a TV show with a bunch of friends, and it got canceled or whatever. <clears throat> um, but yeah. And also this this killed not killed the this movie also introduced us to um I think like Jesse and and I forgot the other characters. Crap. Bull, uh, Bullseye. Oh yeah, Bullseye too. <laughs> And it, one of the funniest characters, but the most evil character of them all, Prospector. Yeah, oh yeah, Prospector. Probably one of the best Pixar villains from from the Toy Story series. See, we all see we all thought that Zerg is our main villain, but then we figure out that the Prospector was the one behind everything that was going on. Um, such as the TV turning on, um, and how the TV remote ended up in front of Jesse's case, which caused both Woody and Jesse to fight. And this, so, um, I remember, I remember watching this movie. I remember watching this movie back then and thinking that the the maybe the villain was gonna be like Zerg. I mean, you really do feel like it will be him before finding. If, you, if before. you paid close attention to most of the most of the moments in the movie. You kind of knew that the prospector was the villain, but oh, yeah, that's uh, right. this lovely classic movie gives us the most funniest, iconic line from the prospector: "My biscuits are burning." To be one of the funniest lines to ever cross a Pixar scene, and will forever be an iconic line. Anything you need to add? Um. Also, there's also like another character who's not really a villain, but more of like, you know, like he's like a toy dealer. Oh, um, I'm trying to think of the name. Now you're making me think here. <laughs> like I'm trying to remember. Like I watched the movie like not too long ago. Like I rewatched it not too long ago, so now I'm trying to remember. Um, I don't know. There was multiple different uh, characters that we see a appearance of. Uh, such as Wheezy. Oh yeah, Wheezy. I think yeah, I think Wheezy. he got he did get referenced in the dead one. Yeah. Um, I think he gets referenced when um I forgot what it was. Woody was talking about something that referenced uh, old characters or whatever. Oh yeah. Um, I, I mean like the fourth the fourth one does kind of suck, but. It, it completely throws everything off because the story was supposed to end after Andy gives away the toys. But no. Yeah. 
I would give it a not a full 10 out of 10 but I'd say at least a 9 out of 10 because there could have been moments in the movie that like had more context to it like made more sense um or like the characters could have been a little bit more smarter such as in the scene where they're in the elevator area with the with the imposter buzz and how he's calling them not by their names how did they not realize that that wasn't actually buzz i mean like they they, they assumed that he was acting like like he's a space wing jay again wait no that doesn't yes. make sense like yes but buzz calls them by their names and now this new buzz that is leading the way is calling them by these uh, by random names or whatever how did they not realize that that wasn't buzz so what are your thoughts on movie in general what are your ideas like would you recommend this movie yes i would recommend it to it like if you if you if you if you love Toy Story like like the series itself, but if you're not like a big fan of like these kind of movies, then I wouldn't really recommend it. So yeah, like, like you just said in like the third one is interesting though. There's a lot to talk about there. That wraps it up, right? Yeah. So thank guys for watching and see you guys in the next.